I believe we're in Sycamore Canyon. We're gonna do a group ride that uh, Venacava is hosting. And I wanted to show him some support, you know? Made the hour drive, um, got some good weather. He just built up a new trail, so we'll see what goes down. I'm just kind of exploring today. I have a bunch of camera gear in my bag and I'm not wearing pads because my intention is not to ride as much, but to get really cool shots of the like this whole thing and just mainly film, but we'll see. To be honest with you guys, I really don't know where I'm going. I'm just headed this way and hopefully I see a bunch of riders. Hey, do you know if there's a group ride anywhere? Yeah, there's supposed to be, but I have no idea where it's at. I just went looking for it. Oh really? I'm in the same boat, man. I'm, I'm kind of lost. Thank you for the, for the info. We're going to keep trekking. I think we're going to head towards Farmer Boys. I'm on chill mode today, so there's no rush. I know I'll find him. Oh man, this guy's got a swimming pool back here. Nice. <laughs> Search continues. Maybe if I go towards the trails. I saw this really cool rock slab and I want to try to hit it. What's the run up look like? <laughs> no, it's too awkward. <laughs> it was a cool concept in my head, but I don't think I could execute. Bunch of these little skinny single tracks that uh, just go all over the place. Morning. Do you guys know if there's a group ride? Or have you heard anything of that? Nothing? Venacava? Oh, no. no? Uh, people actually ride this? I don't, I don't know. No, 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 wow, that's crazy. Well, thank you for the info, man. All right, man. I'm gonna we'll get back you. to it. Thank you, guys. Yeah, you too. So that little beam is where I was crossing. It's so narrow. And then below that beam 
are a bunch of rocks that if you fall it could do some damage but anyways you cross that little beam and then you got a steep drop on this rock and then it shoots you down and then you got a skinny tire ride right there and it shoots you down that way the thing that fascinates me the most is to be able to see that in your head right like let me just put a beam from this rock to that rock and then build up a steep drop after it or a steep roller but yeah uh, this place continues to amaze me it really does I just ran into a group of riders they watched the channel and they were helping me out I asked them if they know if there's a group ride and uh, they pointed me in that direction so we're gonna head that way see if anybody's there Oh, I almost rolled my ankle. I think the trail we're headed towards is called Little Moab. That city. Oh, dude. I hit my sprocket. No, I hit my basket. Oh, that would have been bad. <laughs> Dude, I'm not good out for this. I gotta go faster at it. I can see why they call it Little Moab. I just wanna climb this and I'll feel Oh, that didn't sound good. But we did it, we climbed. We were just there like five minutes ago and it just feels so far away. This little piece right here looks like it's rideable, but you just get shot into the water. That's the hard part. Like if they had a bridge or something over the river, you come right here, drop in, bloom, bloom. It's so overgrown. <laughs> Dude, let me give that another go. Phew. I just see a bunch of riders. Looks like they're just having a session, so we're just gonna head that way and see uh, see who's there. They're way over there. Yeah, they're, they're deep? Well, no, if you go up this hill, you can kind of see the easy ups from, from the top here. All right, on. Dude, it's, it's popping over here. What was your name, brother? Mike. Mike, I'm Gabe. Nice yeah, dude, you've been saving me all day. <laughs> Cheers, man. How you guys doing? How's it going? What's up, man? Hey! I wanted to say what's up. How are you? Good, I spent like an hour on the other side. Oh no! Yeah, but luckily there was a few locals that were showing me around. Yeah, Dude, yeah, yeah. it's nuts. It's There's crazy. a lot of good stuff over there too. Yeah, so. oh, yeah, man. I'll let you get to it. Thank you so much. Yeah, we'll, we'll be in touch. Okay, definitely. Let me just grab my bike.
like I'm in Utah right now. <laughs> that was rad. What's this, what do we got here? Oh, that doesn't lead anywhere. I I don't remember if this is the way I came, but I'm having fun along this route, so we're just gonna keep the momentum going. Alright. I was actually going the wrong way. Nope. I'm so beat. That sun really took a toll on me out there. But it was such a sick day. Huge shout out to Venacava and him hosting that entire event. I know it takes a lot of work and the dude has been just putting in hours on that trail and it looks sick. I didn't hit any jumps today, but you know, it's okay. We'll be back there. I told them that I wanted to get a session with him on those jumps, so maybe in the near future we'll, we'll make a drive out there and then get some riding in. We got lost in the beginning but uh, a lot of the locals guided me in the right direction, which was a lot of help because honestly, I don't think I would have figured it out had I not been asking a bunch of people where to go and where everybody was at. So thank you guys. I also talked to a lot of people at the jam. Very cool. Got a bunch of Instagrams and uh, yeah, I just, it was just cool talking to everybody, catching up and getting information about where they ride and like, what's it like, but it's just so nice how cool the mountain biking community is like everybody's so chill everyone's having a good time having a few laughs and just getting some riding and it was awesome but it was a good day after all this rain it felt good to be outside getting some sun and just pedaling dude honestly i'm gonna go get some lunch maybe get some coffee and get the rest of this day going i'll catch you guys on the next ride peace